What's up, guys? We're back on the Camaro. Back in the shop. Last video, we pulled the head off. Guys, I think I got. I think I need to pull both heads off. You see how clean this is right here? You see this writing right here? That's writing off the piston. Look at all of them. All of them clean. The piston been hitting the head. This motor been together for a good little while. I'm surprised it ain't came apart. It had been doing it since I built the motor. But uh, I'm going to have to pull the other head off and check it too. I got some real thin head gaskets on it. 40 thousands, I think. I can probably put a thicker head gasket on it. I put the thinnest gasket I could on because I was trying to up my compression as much as I can. As much as I can. But uh, we're going to uh, keep tearing it down. And while we're tearing it down, we're going to... Still concentrating on number one and number three. Trying to figure out why the compression was down on them. See how clean that piston is right there? It's been hitting the head. See that? So we're gonna pull, I'm gonna pull the other head off. It's probably been hitting too. Pretty much gotta do the same thing we did on the last video. Gotta take the coil off, take the vacuum pump loose, take the header loose. May have a problem on this side. See how close this head is to this block plate, mid plate. I, I don't. It may not pull out far enough to get the head off. So I may have to get on the car and take the exhaust loose and uh, pull the whole head out. All right, guys, I got this passenger side head off. You can see where it had been hitting the pistons also, but it was hitting it on the top side. Passionate. The driver side was hitting on the bottom side. The pistons in the hole about about twenty thousand for the forty thousand head gas. So I, I still got to knock the pistons out to check the rings. But I think to fix that issue, I, I'm gonna just go with a thicker head gasket and see what happens. So we're gonna pull the oil pan off. Gotta take these bolts out. I think I make a lead of start on. Gotta take the alternator loose. Pull the oil pan off. So that's what we're about to do next. I'm draining the oil now. And we gotta take the filter off. Then I can take the oil pan bolts off. Pull it down. Take the windage tray off. And I should be able to get to the rod bolts. So I can start knocking the pistons out the hose. Oh my get back to work! Got the oil pan off and the windows tray out. I'm gonna get ready to start knocking some pistons out.
few moments later. Got all the pistons out the holes. I did find a pinch ring on number one. See that ring right there? The top ring is pinched. And also a pinch ring on number three. See right there? Both of them pinched around that cut that relief right there, the valve relief. But also number three got a broke second ring. See right there? That ring broke. The second ring is broken. Number six also had a broke ring. See right there? Next thing I'm going to do is pull all the rings off the pistons and start cleaning up the pistons and checking everything and see uh, what all I need to order. I'm also going to do a vacuum test on the heads and see if I got any, any valves leaking by. I can see it or not. Try to get a good angle. But y'all see this ring is coming apart. I remember when I was building this engine, I kept having to order replacement rings because something kept going on when I was trying to file them. I can't remember what it was. I think the rings were soft and bending. Man, I think I just got a cheap set of rings. That ain't what caused my problem, but I may need to investigate, get some better rings when I go back with it. So I got the vacuum pump right here. So what I'm gonna do next is uh, check the seal on the uh, on the valves. See if I got any leaking valves. So number one intake, this valve right here, I can't get in the vacuum up on it. And I can actually hear sucking air at the valve seat. So I need to pull that valve out and check the seat, see how it's looking. See what's going on with, with that. That could have been an issue. All the rest of them sealed up pretty good. 